Hi everyone! Welcome to another quickie workout class or another bite-sized flow. Our quickie workout does not necessarily mean that it is fast. It just means that you'll make the most out of the short amount of time that you have in your busy day. So enjoy! So we'll start at the tops of our mat, okay, finding Tadasana. We have the option to maybe toes come together. If that's not comfortable or you don't feel balanced, go ahead, bring them hip width apart or even wider. Okay. And then when you're ready, as you inhale, we'll reach the arms up, lengthen up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, come up halfway. You can bring the knees, oh, sorry, the hands onto the shins as you press the chest forward. Exhale, plant the palms, and then we'll step back to a plank. Okay. Hold here, breathe in. And then as you exhale, downward facing dog. Okay. And then starting to build warmth and strength. Okay. Let's come back to a plank again, breathe in. Okay. For this first round, maybe bring the knees down. And we'll do, we'll do our modified Chaturanga. As you exhale, reach forward, bend any amount. Inhale, push back up, come up to a plank, and then exhale, downward facing dog. For this first set, we'll lift the right leg up, open up that hip, and then just bending through that knee. One more breath. From here, we'll reset the hips. Go ahead and then step that right foot forward. Okay. Adjust the stance if needed, ground the left palm, inhale. And then as you exhale, we're going to turn and twist towards the right side as you lift the right palm up. Push away from that left hand. Inhale. And then from here, we'll bring that right palm down. Adjust the back leg, ground the left heel, and then when you're ready, straighten the right leg any amount. You can grab your blocks if needed or maybe even consider bringing the hands onto the hips. So we'll feel that release at the hamstrings, rolling the left hip forward. From here, ground the palms. We'll step back to a plank. Go ahead, maybe for this round, keeping the knees lifted. Exhale, reach forward, bend any amount. As you push back up to plank, exhale, downward facing dog. Okay. Maybe for the first few, round, few rounds, if hamstrings are a bit tight, consider bending the knees. Okay. And then similar on the right side, we'll lift the left leg up. Just kicking the plants, opening at the hips. Hey, okay, sorry, plant. Breathe here. One more breath. And then from here, we'll reset again as you step the left foot forward in between the hands. Adjust for this high lunge stance. Okay, grounding the right palm. Inhale. As you exhale, we'll twist towards the left side, lifting the left palm up. Press away from that right palm. Hold here for another breath. And then from here, we'll ground the left hand. Adjust the back leg as you straighten the left knee out. Make sure you roll the right hip forward as you fold over the left leg. Breathing here. One more cycle. From here, ground the palms as left knee bends. Stepping back to a plank. Inhale. Exhale, reach the chest forward. Bend any amount. Pushing back up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, two more pairs. Inhale, lift the right leg up. We'll step it through. Ground that left palm, inhale. Exhale, push away as you twist, lifting the right arm up. Breathing in and out of the nose. One more breath. From here, we'll slowly release, grounding that left heel as you straighten the right knee out. Okay, ground the back leg as the left hip rolls forward. One more cycle. From here, bending the right knee as the palms ground down. Breathe in. Exhale, reach forward as you bend. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side again. Inhale. Step it through. Breathing in again. As you exhale, we'll turn towards the left. Twist in your mouth. And then notice in the twist, if the front knee is opening up, push that leg down. One more breath. 
As you exhale, we'll release. Adjust the back leg if needed as you ground that right heel. Roll the back hip forward as you fold. One more breath in. From here, we'll slowly release, bending at the front knee as you step back. Activate the zipper as you bend any amount. Pushing back up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last pair, inhale. Exhale, step it through. Adjust again the stance, breathe in. Exhale, twist any amount. And then notice by this round how it feels for you. Pressing away from the bottom hand. One more breath in. As you exhale, we'll release. Ground that left heel as you straighten that right leg any amount as you fold. Okay, keep the traction at the legs. Notice how that feels for the right hamstring. One more cycle. As you exhale, we'll release, stepping back. Breathing in as you activate the zipper. Exhale, bend. Inhale, pushing back up and pressing back. Inhale, lifting the left leg up. Okay, we'll step it through in between the hands. Breathe in again. As you exhale, we'll turn towards the left side. One more cycle here as you push away from that bottom hand. Exhale, we'll slowly release. Grounding through that right heel as you straighten the left leg out. Okay, you can add small movements in your hamstring release. One more breath in. As you exhale, we'll step back. Activate the zipper as you breathe in. And then continuing to move. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can stay here in down dog for as long as you like. Maybe lower down the knees for child's pose. And then when you're ready, okay, stepping forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands back. Namaste. So I hope you enjoyed that and you, get, you got your heart rate up. So don't forget to check out our other Bite Size Flow classes in my YouTube channel. So I would like to thank you for watching. This is Every Yoga by Jo and Daya, sharing everyday yoga for everybody.